Don't you call me a mindless philosopher. What was once science fiction is one step closer to becoming reality. These robot security guards will change the world, says Nightscope's William Santana Lee. Our planet has 7 billion people on it. It's going to quickly get to 9 billion people. The law enforcement apparatus and security apparatus that we have globally is just not going to scale. Lee says his company's autonomous data machines can become the eyes and ears of law enforcement. He shows what the robot sees at this demonstration in Los Angeles. Uh, this is a live stream uh, from uh, Machine 2 at Nightscope headquarters in Silicon Valley. You want it to be machines plus humans. You know, let the machines do the monotonous, computational heavy and sometimes dangerous work and let the humans do the strategic decision making work so it's always working in tandem. One and a half meters tall and weighing 136 kilograms, these machines move freely within a specific perimeter. They do not carry weapons, but have 360-degree day and nighttime video cameras. Uh, and then we also have a optical character recognition system on the machine that runs 300 license plates a minute. The robots can also detect chemical and biological weapons. Lee says just their physical presence, even though they're only robots, can change criminal behavior. But law professor Eugene Volokh says they have to be used the right way. If it's out there where a police officer could be, and is seeing only what a police officer could see. There's no constitutional problem. There's no right of privacy problem. But Volokh foresees issues that could arise similar to those presented by police officers wearing body cameras. One concern that people might have is, hey, look, you know, I'm doing something in a public place. I realize if it's illegal, the police might arrest me for it or ticket me for it. And I accept that, but I don't want this video to be released anytime somebody wants to get it and then put on the internet showing me doing something that may be embarrassing or looks goofy or something along those lines. So it might be interesting to see how state laws deal with this kind of, uh, uh, of uh, surveillance video for public records purposes. William Santana Lee says many college campuses, shopping malls and stadiums may soon have roving robots. He says there is a long waiting list for them in the U.S. and dozens of other countries are also interested in these futuristic robotic security guards. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.